Uh, today we will be discussing GIT ligaments and they are given on page number 344 on in first aid 2015 and on page number 340 on in first aid 2016. Uh, when I was preparing for step 1 I did this page multiple times and I used to forget it all the time. So I ca this is, today I will show the method through which I remembered the GIT ligaments. See. Uh, I made a few flowcharts and some handmade diagrams and I hope that will help you to remember GIT ligaments. So let's start. See first understand the meaning of omentum and mesentery. See what is omentum? When the visceral peritoneum doubles it is called omentum. Okay. And what is mesentery? When the omentum, uh, omentum joins the organ to the wall of the abdomen then it is called mesentery. See this. Uh, suppose let's see this is uh, one organ okay and this is another organ okay so and this blue blue lining is uh, this visceral peritoneum see this is visceral peritoneum and this is another visceral peritoneum so the place where the visceral peritoneum doubles this is called omentum okay and when the omentum connects the organ to the abdominal wall then it is called mesentery okay so this was the this was about omentum and mesentery now first uh, we will discuss the ligaments that are attached to the liver so see there are three ligaments which you need to know first is falciform ligament second is hepato duodenal ligament and third is hepatogastric ligament or gastrohepatic ligament okay so see here i have made a diagram see this is the liver in the center okay the first ligament attaches the liver to the anterior abdominal wall. This is falciform ligament. The second one attaches the liver to the stomach. Okay, this is hepatogastric or gastrohepatic ligament. And the third ligament attaches the uh, liver with the duodenum. And this is hepatoduodenal ligament. So these were the ligaments that are attached to the liver. Now we will see the ligaments which are attached with the stomach. See the first one is gastrohepatic ligament, second is gastrocolic, and the third one is gastrosplenic. See here it is. Uh, the stomach, the connection between stomach and liver, it is gastrohepatic. Between stomach and spleen, it is gastrosplenic, and between stomach and the transverse colon, it is gastrocolic. Now see. Uh, okay, see uh, the gastro just a second the gastro uh, hepatic ligament it is attached on the lesser curvature okay and the gastrocolic and gastrosplenic they are attached on the greater curvature okay so this will help to remember one concept see uh, stomach has two curvatures lesser curvature and greater curvature now the gastric arteries okay gastric arteries they lie on the lesser curvature side while the gastroepiploic artery and short gastric artery they lie on the greater curvature side okay so see any ligament which is on see the ligament which is on the lesser curvature what will it contain it will contain gastric arteries and the ligaments that are on the greater curvature it will contain gastroepiploic artery and short gastric artery okay so see gastroepiploic artery it is present in gastrocolic ligament as well as gastrosplenic ligament and the short gastric artery it, it is contained in the gastrosplenic ligament i hope that this will help you to remember the structure contained in this ligament okay and now see uh, let's suppose this this is greater sac okay and this is lesser sac now there is stomach in between okay liver and spleen now the ligament which connects stomach with liver is gastrohepatic ligament and the ligament which contains stomach with spleen is gastrosplenic ligament so see this ligament separates greater and lesser sac on the right side okay while this uh, gastrosplenic ligament it separates greater and lesser sac on the left side okay this is given in first aid so whenever the surgeon wants to make a connection between uh, greater sac and lesser sac they usually cut this gastrohepatic ligament to get access from uh, greater sac into lesser sac okay 
now we will discuss all the ligaments and what does they contain okay so see the first one is falciform ligament okay from what it is derived it, the answer is ventral mesentery okay and what does it contain it contains ligamentum teres hepatis okay now uh, from where does ligamentum teres hepatis is derived it is remnant of umbilical vein this is given in the cardiology section so see here it is about git git anatomy git embryology git uh, cardio embryology so definitely this topic is high yield okay so remember this thing this is tested now the second thing is uh, hepatoduodenal ligament okay and what does it contain it contains portal triad now if you remember if you if you forget that in which ligament portal triad is contained then it is easy to remember if you know the content of portal triad see how how does it work let me tell you see the first first thing contained in portal triad is common hepatic artery second is portal vein and third is common bile duct now simply if you remember that common bile duct is contained in portal triad then you will easily remember the name of uh, ligament see common bile duct from where does it start i mean it from where does it bring the bile it bring bile from the liver so hepato okay and where does it take the bile it takes it to duodenum so hepato duodenal this helps me to remember that portal triad is uh, present in the hepato duodenal ligament okay now see uh, i remember it, it like this see between stomach uh, sorry stomach and duodenum and liver there is presence of lesser omentum okay and greater omentum is present somewhere between liver uh, sorry stomach and transverse colon so see if you if you remember this small diagram then it will help you to remember which ligaments are contained in lesser omentum and which are contained in the greater omentum see the uh, ligament that con uh, connects liver with stomach is gastrohepatic so it will be uh, contained in lesser omentum another is uh, hepato duodenal ligament okay so it is also contained in the lesser omentum now the greater omentum is below the stomach at between the stomach and the transverse colon so what does it contain gastrocolic ligament it's easy to remember okay i forgot to mention about the pringle maneuver here see what what is pringle maneuver and when is when is it used mostly the pringle maneuver it is used during liver surgery okay to stop the blood flow going to the liver see common hepatic artery it takes blood to the liver portal vein it takes blood to the liver so when you pinch the portal uh, the hepatoduodenal ligament then the blood supply going to portal vein will stop okay and that will reduce the chance of bleeding so that that's the use of pringle maneuver and the last thing is spleno renal ligament okay and what does it contain splenic artery and vein okay and also it contain tail of pancreas this is often forgettable okay most of the people forget this so just remember this the tail of pancreas is also contained in spleno renal ligament so this is all about git ligament